Have you ever wondered how to set up a vertical growing situation here for your raised beds? Well, we got an answer for you. Watch this and we'll show you how we do it. Hey folks, welcome back to the Rock and Sea Homestead. My name is Lance. I want to welcome you to our channel. And today we're going to talk about growing our vegetables vertically. So here in our garden, we have raised beds that are very tall and they're not a huge footprint. So these are only three foot by eight foot. So we don't have a lot of space to grow. We only have six of them. So we had to grow a lot of things vertical. As you can see here, our tomato plants are way taller than I am. And we actually need to start bringing them back even up and over some more. But we're not going to do that today, but what we're going to do is we're going to set up two more beds. We planted a couple of tomatoes in another bed that needs to be uh, kind of strapped up to the vertical. Plus, we've got some cucumbers that are just about at the point that they need to be put on there so they can grow vertical as well. So let's get to it. Let's get this done. So these are the two beds that we're going to start with. So we're going to put up a cattle panel. That's going to go right here, just like the one that I was just underneath. And then on the other side of this bed, we're going to put another one on that goes from this side of the bed to the fence. We're going to attach it there. So this is what we're going to work with. Of course, we have some tomato plants that definitely need some help. And over here, we have some cucumbers that are coming up. And they're just about at that point where we can start get them over here and get them trellised up. So we got to get that stuff done. Plus, we got some more cucumbers over here that's going to be popping up here pretty soon. And we got to have everything ready so they're ready to go. All right, so this is one of the cattle panels that we're going to use. This is a 16 footer and uh, it's a little bendy right now because I, I don't have a big truck or a trailer. So I have to kind of bend them up, put them in a little small trailer that I have. But that's OK, because this is where they're going to bend anyways. So it should be all good. Marsh and I just have to get this in place. We're going to put two on both beds side by side. They overlap a little bit. That's OK. Uh, we may have to cut a little bit of one edge just to kind of keep away from our uh, our our uh, irrigation system but we have a couple tools to help us with that so these things are super easy they're not very expensive maybe twenty dollars something like that and they're so useful anywhere around the garden All right, since on, on this bed, we have some irrigation piping here that's in the way. And I don't wanna rest this on here and compromise it. So I'm just gonna come through here and cut these two sections out. And it should just lay straight down, should be good to go. And uh, hopefully that works. And I'm gonna use my angle grinder. It's one of the best tools on the homestead, if you don't have one. Check it out. So now there's many ways to actually affix these to the beds themselves. We have grown to love these coax clamps, little quarter inch head on them. These things are so awesome. We use these when we're doing some of the stuff for our goats to do some temporary fencing. And these things are so quick and easy to get them on and off. Last year we used some of those uh, like fence staples. They work really well. And once they're in, they're in, because we actually took a couple panels off of this bed last, this year, earlier this year, and man, it was so hard to get those things out, and it was just, uh, it just wasn't fun. So this is way easier. Like I said, I've seen people use those. I've seen people use those uh, uh, pipe straps. 
but we think this is the easiest way. These are super cheap. You can find these at your Lowe's or Home Depot or anywhere where there's cable supplies. Really good. All right, so we're almost done. We just have our last piece, pieces over here that are up against our fence. And this isn't the greatest ever fence, just welded wire. So we're just gonna put it over here with some zip ties. We have one that we've had up over a year, just like it. It's been working fine, haven't had an issue with it. So we're just gonna continue that and just zip tie these things up. And if we ever need to replace them, we can just get another zip tie. And it stays just like that. Now, we did have to overlap these just because, like I was saying, now you could zip tie these together. We didn't on our other one, so uh, we haven't had any issues with them. So we're just gonna let them be for now. If we feel like they're moving too much or whatever, we can come back here and zip tie them. But it, again, we haven't had an issue in the past, so you have to kind of leave that up to however you want to do it. So. All right, now since we got the trellises up, we wanted to show you kind of how we actually trellis the plants up the trellis. So these are the our tomatoes we've had in there for quite some time. When we first started, we use a stick when they just get tall enough and kind of lean them over towards the trellis. And as they grow, we kind of pull them over and we have these little clips we got on Amazon and we clip it or we, sometimes we have to tie them depending on the situation. Like sometimes we have to tie them but we just kind of clip it. And sometimes it's on this side of the, of the trellis. Sometimes it's on the outside, the inside. And we just try to manicure it up and over. And as you can see, we trim our tomatoes pretty heavily because we try to smash a lot of tomatoes in here. So once we start seeing a lot of fruit, we'll start cutting off um, a bunch of leaves and, and uh, stems that don't need to be in there just so we can kind of see what's going on and kind of trellis and trellis. So as they get taller and taller, that gets a little harder. So at some point we stop doing that just because they get too bushy and you just can't reach up here above your head too much. But for now, this gives a great airflow and these guys get plenty of sun. We leave plenty of vegetation, but that's how we do it. And, and as you can see, the tomatoes are looking pretty dang good. All right, so let's get these things wrangled up here and get these things trellised. All right, so we got everything done. We got things tied up. So we're trying to encourage these cucumbers to come up and over. So we got these things tied really, really loose. Here in the next couple days, we'll come out here every day to make sure they're growing. And whenever they start growing, we'll just start weaving them in and out and having them grow up and over. That's really what we need to do. At this point, they're kind of at that weird in-between stage where they don't really fit, but you kind of have to get them a little bit or they'll start going into all these other plants. But guys, this is how you do it. It's fairly easy, fairly inexpensive. If you have any questions, leave it down below in the comments. We'll get you an answer as soon as possible. But guys, thanks for coming back, watching our videos. Would really love it if you'd like to share this out with all your friends and family that may like this content, of course. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, those are right down there. Click on that button, ring that bell so you don't miss another video. And from our homestead to yours, have a blessed day. Keep growing, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.